Inferno, our second of our second series. High expectations set for this series and already definitely met by FaZe, finding form. Brokey, though, was a bit of an absent name. I hope to see more from him here if he hopes to beat Vitality on a map that they have picked. Certainly no slouch. Everyone plays Inferno, so picking Inferno and definitely far from a guarantee into the round win, or rather the map win. Curious to note here, they've done the uh, four over towards Aileen top mid, so they might go and swing for presence as the round continues. But Nico has multiple flashes and a HE, currently playing towards that CT spawn position. I assume if he gets smoked off, he will throw flashes over towards Banana to set up his players on a quick B retake. And as we can see, yeah. there are two smokes and three flashes on this T side of things, as well as a P250 in the hands of the danger man Zywo himself. A fun fact for you as well on that flash that you could see was being held by the French for the uh, Banana position. When I was playing with Alex, he was calling it the 143 flash. So I guess that's the time you throw it. All right. Well, that's a good name for the flash. Very direct. <laughs> I mean, I think he was talking about the timing, but very interesting. And Colzer is locking the door with Kirby, Brokey, Rain, all leaning A. But if they go for the flank, all oh, RPK babysits. And the rest bite their tongue. Aware that the pivot back from Banana is possible, and here they come. Kirby, what can you possibly do? Jumping, making it hard, overwhelming, and Brokey has to try and drop his smoke and get the hell out of Dodger. For supporting oh. cast, though, is Rain. He's oh. found one. Brokey again, bomb loose. 2v3. This is quite the chaotic mid-round. No. Bomb picked up. Zyro and Apex, if they go quick, there's still rain and he's still waiting. As spicy as kimchi gets two on the way through. Beautiful stuff from Hello, him. Hello, governor. Nice to see Rain in the server. He was very quiet in their quarterfinal or the qualification for it. Of course, different formats, easy to get confused, but the game that got them here is what I was referencing. What day is it today? Saturday? I don't know. Yes, Saturday. So Monday is our day off. Yes. <sighs> Whoa. Cool. All right. Well, uh, the buy has come out from both sides. Team Vitality going for the force buy. Tech Nines, P250s, and Utility in play. And I'll implore the both of you to look at your phones. As uh, so. we get back underway, it looks like a set piece could be set on up over towards this A side of things. Early Hall's presence and Boiler presence being pushed on through. And uh, Shock's thinking better of jumping up towards that window. So right now, Vitality just going through the motions as uh, Molotov towards top banana just to hold back any CT information. Through Hall's is where the attack could pop. They will have to deal with Kirby on the balcony, MP9 in hand, full utility in play as well. He's just dropped out a Molotov to delay this, but you can see this. The smokes are set up. A classic French maneuver, even from the source days, was set A smokes and then doing a bit of a jungle wrap coming through them. So smokes go in, flashes look better, and up quad this time. Yeah, jungle wrap. It does sound like a gentrified cafe. Right, already looking pretty damn good for the boys of FaZe Clan. Dealing with it. Cold catching the suitor before he could do too much as well. But yeah, I'll take the jungle wrap and a mocha chocolate flappuccino. I just got my cappuccino, I'm really excited. You did? Oh, yeah. I've just requested a smoothie, very much being looked after by ESL, so much love to them, yeah, softening the blow of all of this extended work, of course, in like caffeine. unpredictable times. Mm. Much love to ESL for looking after us. Oh. We'll just be the Glock Eco from Vitality coming through uh, here. Uh, <clears throat> there excuse me. There is a Deagle me. and a P250 in play. Make that two Deagles, one for Shanks, one for Apex. Glocks for Mr. Oh, we can see the indecision on Nico's face there, or rather his <laughs> model. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. That's why you shake your arm, your aim. Can we just... So when he was pushed up on that pistol, by the way, just very briefly, it literally looked like I was on 60 hertz when he was shaking his mouse around. I was like, oh, my eyes. It's actually really hard to see in that instance. However, it is going to be just shocks alive in a 1v4. Now, we did know that Brokey was a little lower. Can we talk about something else? Sure. Because I don't think he's going to win this one. Oh, I know. You're right. How's your smoothie? Have I've you got, tried it yet? Well, I had an options, and I went for rhubarb. Wow. Of all flavors. I, just, I haven't wow, finished, I Chad. Jeez. I haven't had rhubarb in my mouth in a while. That's a gamble. I used to grow it in our garden, so it's got a, oh, a nostalgia lovely. taste to it. Um, elderflower and peach. It's gorgeous. Now, that's a combo. Sounds like, you know, you go yeah, to I'll a take private a girls' school, and your name's Tilly. Tilly... Go, go get us some Tilly. elderberries and mm. some rhubarb for it does our taste, gooseberry yogurt. It does taste like the garden. It does. <laughs> is it quite nice, though? Yeah, I'm not complaining. It's just the vitamins, minerals. It's not all the good coffee, stuff. which is basically all I drink all the time. So it's nice to mix <laughs> it up. The cold brew bottle next to him. <laughs> I really am staying hydrated today. But obviously, I'm not consuming anything on the microphone. Would hate to trigger anyone. 
Nico's orping here from the get-go, and uh, he's actually taking this over towards the B side of things. So early flash up middle, Molotov to contain from Brokey as two of the players on the A side of things. It will be Brokey and Kyobi to lock down in case of an early rush. That's not the case. We've actually got in rotation now Cold Zero after setting up his B players back over towards A. Nico missing a shot. We'll dip on back and now respecting the banana position that has been taken from RPK. And it looks like Vitality with Banana Control just want to corral and head back over there quickly. Pace changes is something we always talk about with Vitality, something they're good at. Picking the gaps, being able to make some odd timings and catch those CTs off guard. And look at this, quick towards Banana they go. Molotovs, flashes, smokes, they have everything they want. Flashes over, here they come. Yep. Nico with the pre-smoke gives him a little bit of option to walk away to, but Rain does well to find one. Sets up Nico with a little bit less to worry about, but still only limited HP and caught off. So that's yeah. a bomb plant now. And that's Ooh. the shot from Brokey he has to hit. Can't find Masuta. Oh, the oh. spray Yo. does just on the tail ends. I was a clutch and does adjust his spray into Brokey. Fresh mag and the molly. Oh, dear. <laughs> Doesn't quite work out. Kebi has a kit here, but they need to be able to find Zaiwu. They can't isolate Masuda until they get past the big man himself, and they're actually tucking him both towards the back of the site. Masuda's going to bait for Zaiwu here. So Masuda wants to take a duel, draw them in, and hope that they don't clear, but they know Zaiwu has to be towards construction, so Masuda with a huge Perfect. first frag. He offers himself up, and I love that. It, it, it's the crossfire that Kebi's now having to unfold, unravel, <clears throat> and he couldn't do it well enough in time. Zaiwu just going to play that safe. Oh, lucky not to go down with the bomb there. Timing on the side of Zaiwu as well as the round. And now the buy will come back on through for Vitality. So you can see here, gun being dropped across, weapons being purchased on in. And if Brokey found this kill onto Masuda through the smoke, then yeah, that may have actually just been the fourth round on the board for FaZe. You can see the damage there, the walking wounded of Masuda. And the fact he gets this kill on low HP, allowing Zaiwu to find himself in a one-on-one -on -one instead of a one-on-two -on -two is huge. But it was a bonus round from FaZe. They carried a lot across a lot of Famuses. And now they will be rocking the traditional setup. So Brokey back onto that AWP. M4s for two of them. Kirby on the Org and Cold Zero on the Famous. Look, look at him go. That Mac 10 could find him. He will. Oh, Brokey. Mac 10 versus Orp. And the Mac 10 comes out on top. They're boosting. Apex we find them both there if he gets an awkward timing. Oh, the spray's good. Well played. RPK on the site trying to dunk on Rain. Could do it. He will do it. Great, Great shot. Neat. Nico's vulnerable, and that's a neat and tidy way to wrap it all up, put a bow on it, and call it two. Three to two, in fact, to be specific. And that bonus round and then following have both gone Vitality's way. So this is a good way to get yourself into this T-half early. This is our second map, and you would expect Vitality to be having quite the sterling showing. Admittedly, Chad, you outlined that the T-side from Vitality on Inferno has historically not been their strong suit more rounds on the defense. So anything they garner here, it's going to be certainly a guarantee into this one. USPs and a P2K for Brokey. Bit of a hipster. Yes. Just taking a gamble here, FaZe, so hoping that the attack comes their direction. They've got uh, one of these five-man stacks set up, and if they're able to capitalize on any kills whatsoever, oh, Apex. Okay, he's spotted enough. He's seen enough, and out they go. Quickly over towards A is where they should be barreling, but Apex wants to see how much he can find. Oh. And, well, it turns out he gets nothing, but in the meantime, the remainder of his teammates will be making it over towards that A site. They're going to drop some smokes just to deny the rotation coming on through. And if you are FaZe getting your hands on this AK-47, well, it is <laughs> the place to start. They pick that up, and if they can get any more damage or any more kills, then things will be looking good for FaZe. But with the bomb down, the 40-second timer begins Beginning. I think this round is probably over already. Yeah, that was straight up like a horror movie where it's like something weird's already happened. Oh, our poor buddy Dave's been murdered. Better go down to the basement and check on those weird sounds. Just walks around the corner. And everyone's yelling at the screen. Don't go in there. Don't do it. Don't what? do it. Wait, are people getting upset that the Yorg's a viable weapon? Um. I don't know really? why. No, it's just making, I'm seeing lots of tweets like, Launders is saying he's muting the org keyword. Um, why am I? Why? why? I'd, I'd, I'd love the org to is a higher a... priced gun and should be one of the better guns in the game. That's how it works. Is a is a response. Like people are all talking about the org for some reason. Is it because Kirby's using it? Well, it's been used uh, exactly quite a bit in I recent mean, time. So I don't know it, it why. It feels it's... like it's a choice. It's not like it's OP by default. Precisely, and it does cost more, and it fires slower, Possibly. and uh, there's other bits and pieces that come it's, into It's got a predictable rate of, of recoil to the point where people can get better spray control, but I don't think that's necessarily like, a downside. It's, 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 it's such a curious thing, because technically it's like the AK is just a one-shot headshot, no matter what. 
and it's twenty seven hundred. There's, there's so it's like I, I don't you want to like the conversation at all. To be honest with if, the people, if, you, if, if someone can make it a, dis, a, a natural argument, but apply oh. it across the board to every you know, and keep in mind all the other accounts of viable weapons, and, I think that'd be very appropriate. And make no mistake, I too really didn't like watching five orgs. When I was, hated that meta. When it was five orgs, it did feel different. Now, now on certain maps, we get about two. Who a total? Uh, I think train. We were seeing two nuke from uh, heroic. We were seeing two Nico and Tassus were rocking those. Simple was using it instead of an AWP. It was giving them other options, making AWP players be able to be a little bit more mobile. Um, it's definitely not the gun it once was. No. And that, get, that gun remained the same way forever uh, and wasn't used. And now it's finding itself uh, actually slotting in quite nicely. So it's giving more options, yeah. more decisions can be made. And uh, with that, Counter-Strike is a game about choice. And well, Vitaly have chosen to play in front of this smoke wall, actually going in quite quickly with the bomb. It will be a B finish. Rain, what are you... Okay, that makes sense. Dropping his incendiary. You might want to smoke now as so we can reposition. Ooh, Rain. He has Seems found one, shown. starting to unload the mag and found. Nico drops off the new box, wants to peek on his flash. They are in pool, doesn't have to do too much as now they start to apply pressure. The flash is so nice good. Flash. Oh, Brokey just made that one a walk in the park. Looks like FaZe have found their fourth. Mm. Yeah, this this is done. Nico, a kindness gifted over there to Shox, just a quick execution, not dragging that out. But yeah, flash MVP maybe? of that round? Oh yeah. Oh definitely. The flash takes the cake. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I really hurt my voice at some point in like the last map or the start of this one. I'm not sure when. Uh, there was really a Kirby clutch which got us excited. I, I really don't know when. That it doesn't a... normally get, you know, this point. So exciting times. It's fun how it goes. I swear I'm either technically naturally not doing anything nasty, but I've never really had issues with my voice. No, I normally don't. I think I made it just a weird sound at some point and it's gone. I know, but it's just like some casters would often tweet like, oh, voice is wrecked after a tough day in the office. I think that was just because people like to make it seem harder than it is. I think yeah. as well in the past when you were casting in some arenas when there was the crowd noise and maybe yeah. the audio wasn't set up properly that, that, you know, you couldn't actually hear yourself over that's, it. That's a very good So one. we haven't had that in a while. No. Ooh. Apex and RPK catching some flack. Brokey only the one sent back. Misuta. Oh, oh my goodness, Old the trades. That. Yeah, he did. Now all into the site. Bomb will be going down shortly. It's currently loose on the balcony. RPK solo. He is vulnerable to a nade if Nico wants to. It might actually be the save call already if FaZe can't find anything here. They're going to try and boost over the smoke, I would assume. They're actually limping one forward to open up a doorway in. Well, lots of utility to maybe try and... Another smoke. This is great. What can they do with this? RPK could get cooked here. 20 HP. Oh, it's it will missed. potentially oh. dribble. No, it won't. Gosh, you could see the intention. It would have been really quite well considered. Shocks. It wasn't pretty, but it gets the job done. And RPK, the safe pair of hands. And that's why we don't go for retakes and a 2 on 3 disadvantage on the A bomb site on Inferno, ladies and gentlemen. That right there shows you exactly what you have to deal with, just how difficult it is once the T's are posted up towards the pit, towards the site. They can have balcony, they can have quad control, they can be in castle, and your Molotov's missing. Well, that doesn't help either because RPK gets to use the cusp of the smokes that you've thrown, use them against you, and finish you off very, very quickly. Your money in the bin at this stage is Vitality post four rounds on the board. FaZe have no option but to go for a save. P250, CZ75, Deagle, and... A smoke grenade. Nico and Kirby, they've opted to just go with the USPs. But quick up mid, Masuta leaving the charge. Going to get tagged on through by the flashed up Brokey. He gets traded and Rain finds one as well. So dangerous stuff towards top mid. Can any more come on through? It's a crunch, isn't it? It's oh, a bit uncomfortable. They've had to use the molly to clear out Nico, but he's dead. So I guess job done. It's worthy of the investment in the end. But now Kirby and Cold Zero, where are these two? We've got Kirby towards the site. Shouldn't be able to do too much i feel overwhelmed eventually and of course then cold zara does have the deagle but he's a mile away if cold keeps pushing and they just stall out for a second there might be a window but apex he doesn't want to stall out at all look at this pushing into the site clearing and we'll deal with kirby here seeing the barrel takes nice. him down and now it's just cold to see what he can find so unfortunately for Cold, this is going to be a very difficult round to win might be able to find him a gun towards top middle here to carry on through and that might see him saving AK getting picked up now. And shocks close as you like. The timing is going to punish 
right here is Cole will just make it around the corner as shocks is cleared. So very, very tight stuff here, but they will notice that an AK is missing from the ground. So an idea that he has picked this up should be known from Vitality, but it's Cold Zero backpedals further and further away from the site. Vitality looking in the wrong direction, not getting hotter, getting colder, that's for sure. And we will see here the AK saved on through. Now that's the uh, Zoking sticker. If you know who Zoking is, he's a uh, Chinese player. Probably on that Vici roster, actually. Oh, is he a fan of Machine? I saw there was obviously the caster sticker of Alex right next to it. Ah, uh, yes, the caster stickers in Counter Strike. Those uh, are <laughs> next to the very, voice pack. I very think. popular I have, items. I have got a caster sticker. Here we go. In Dota. I, I actually have um, another Valve franchise. Yeah, I, I have uh, the this the skin of the pistol that Olaf obviously uh, it has my ooh, my ooh, quote ooh. on it, but it obviously doesn't label me as saying it. I have an actual thing to recommend um, okay. for anyone if you're listening and you regularly tout the idea of I wish we had a TI in Counter Strike. Oh, I'll send it to Bubsky. I'll send it to Bubsky. Uh, Kyle Friedman, ex professional Dota player, has written a long form um, piece on Medium.com talking about TI10 and its announcement and how it's affected the Dota scene. Scene. Really recommended reading. I, I, I do wonder when people say they wish they had a TI that they realize how much it's kind of top heavy and it destroys the actual circuit. I mean, yeah, the TLDR is there, but... Sure, no, no, no. I, I do wonder it's as if people actually realize that or if they just want Daddy Valve to look at them. Um, for now, though, we do see, again, quite an attentive mid-boost coming out. This is three players towards that quad side with a bit of a roam towards that speedway play of Nico. Now, Brokey's in danger here. Cold Zero forced into action and does very well between him and Kiebi. Going to deliver on towards Zaiwu and Masuta. So, teased in almost and then lost a great deal for it. But Shox has found some... Oh, room. he's mollied himself. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's a bit of an oopsie. And now Reigns caught RPK. A series of unfortunate events transpire. Apex cooked up and forced forward. It's rain to go down, though. The trade spray from Nico eventually connects, and that's the bomb loose. That's the round one. They don't know the bomb's in the smoke right now. These guys are uh, trading blows. If he finds Nico, it's a plant. Not to be. Okay. Well, 5-5 five, five now, the scoreline here. Round 10 done and dusted, and the buy will be able to come through on the side of things from Vitality. Apex can actually drop a gun across from Masuta, and then they should be able to get something quite potent on the board here as Brokey through the wickets, but mopping on up. Kirby there in tow with uh, Cold Zero on top of the balcony position, getting some assists on through. Nico finishing it off there onto Shocks, and while this is map number two, it is the map choice of Vitality. And if they lose this one here, they will be going out in 2-0 fashion. They won't be the bridesmaid today. It'll be more like the ring bearer. Earlier in the year, they were able to get themselves into finals consecutively, but not converting any of those. And fast as you like, look at Masuda dealing with cold, very postured, and he gets traded. So Masuda goes down, Shocks finds Brokey, and up mid, Zaiwu goes. Trying to take a lot of space here, Zaiwu. Gotta be feeling bold if you want to take Nico on like that. Top mid still maintained by the T's, but it's being taken back right now. Utility put to play now. Quad will be contested. RPK on the other side of it, but territory's been kind of lost here. Hmm. Don't fancy Apex chances if he wants to fight this. Cold's staring at him. Trying to sell the fake with a frag is shocks. Hasn't even got a smoke to sell it. It's at least split the defense up into a 2-2. Two, two. But look how look look how little Nico's interested in that. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll have a look then. And at that moment in time, Chox is rejoining the pack. They have a numbers advantage now. This is why you wait. This is why standing still is not doing nothing. I just lurk smoke dropped. Crossfire established. Kiabi, what can you do? Cold. And Kiabi. Apex dropping into the pit. Cold will have to drop off now. Three, all advancing from this quad position. Kirby is going to be the first to find frags. And this crossfire has worked wonderfully. Apex trying to knock him off their perch. He could very well do this, but the flash is perfect from Kirby. Forces the reposition. And FaZe will take it. It's funny to see Cold Zera not on Cold Zera's box. <laughs> Having to share, isn't he? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Well, uh, Vitality, after losing that round right there and not getting the plant down, will have to take a save. You can see their money situation right now, bottom right-hand corner of your screen, Masuda with 1900 And that's because they had the $1,900 loss bonus coming through, so he fully invested in the previous round. 2400 will be coming through the bank balance in the next, and that allows Apex and RPK and even Shocks to invest into a Deagle. So 
They will be probably opting for some Galils and AKs in the following, but damage is the name of the game right now because the bank hasn't swelled out of control right now. But if Brokey, if he gets his hands on this MP9 and finds a couple more heads on the Vitality side, he's going to be looking pretty with cash. Nades toward T-Stairs, doing a chunk of damage to Shox. And okay, that was a nice shot from Shox, but immediately traded. Yeah, quick as anything between these guys, but the other three have left. Uh, it's just the Glock on Zywu and then the two Deagles uh, between them, so... Kind of rough to find much more, I feel. Brokey was willing to go for it. Obviously, had the SMG. Farmed up a little, not a lot. Yeah, and if uh, FaZe can walk away with nine, maybe ten rounds in this half, they could potentially 2-0 this. And I don't think anyone besides Lauren is expecting that coming into today. I swear, if she activates smug mode, I am out of here. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I'm really I wouldn't. not. I really wouldn't, no. But um, with the three of them and their deagles, as Chad has outlined, we are watching as they try and draw utility. And there it goes. $600 squandered as it spreads around the floor. They've actually drawn on over rain here. So they will play 2-2 two, two once again phase. And it's a similar setup as what we saw last round. Nico has a smoke to drop here as soon as he's bothered. At 30. Dreamy. And, uh, well, he felt a bit bothered right there. So now they can actually just tuck on into deny the plant. And wow, abusing the gap there. Masuda goes down. Has a good idea that others will be on the side right now. On with that smoke. And rain is here ready to swing from coffin. So <laughs> Apex peering on over the top. Just seeing what he can see. And well, there's not a lot. So annoying when, I mean, I need to explain myself. Hang on. Nico gets his final frags. Another quad kill from him. But yeah, when you're playing against players that play it like that, it, it's just, it's all about minimizing mistakes, right? But when you're sitting there in a 2v4, you're peeking over your smoke and all the CTs actually have to do is not fight. Like the reality is they just, if they were standing still, you would win the round. And so just seeing Rain refuse to give them anything on that boost. Nico in a position where there is no way he doesn't get one. Yeah. This is about minimizing mistakes, and they did. They keep it all nice, tickety-boo. In fact, I'm seeing four, no, three T-weapons on this defense, and Cold wants to bring the fight. Zywu jiggles, very effective information, and now he's just presented his bottom. Zywu can't believe his luck. Yeah, Brokey was meant to bail Cold out there, but unable to do so. So now Vitality started a very important uh -oh. round, the man up. I think Kiyobi's got a good shot here. I don't know what he's going to do around this smoke. If he opts for the bedroom side, he has got a frag on the cards. Shocks in towards the boiler side. I'd be a bit late on the timing. Yeah, if Brokey confirms they're up, though, this should be a Kirby frag. Nice shot. Equalized. They've lost Arch now. There's always going to be a gap, obviously. Oh, Brokey's got to do it all, man. They're coming long. Oh, flashes. Look at the minimap. You think he's got a buddy, but he doesn't. Kirby is just posted. And he's going to get another great work from Brokey. Wow. Under pressure. Still delivering. Still so damn good. So poised. Very cool. Calm, collected, under pressure. Collect the eighth. That was supposed to be the sixth on the board for Vitality after the start. But not interested. Not interested at all. They were going for a 2-2 banana split. Bit of an overinvestment from a couple. Lost bonus 3,400 though after conceding what was four in a row. Max loss means that they can splash the cash a little further. Ooh, okay, Masuta's charging. He wants rain. Oh, the nade is chunky, but the kill's even better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They keep going. They want to use this momentum, and they're right to do so, but Nico trying to steady the spray. Gets two. Cole to finish it, and he will. Controlling what could have spiraled. It's a very interesting change of pace when you see those Tech Nines charging towards the B site. It's, it's no longer about grace. It's about just brutality, making sure you're getting the bullets in the right place, not letting your players get overwhelmed by numbers. You can see how neither of them is letting go of the mouse one. There's a smoke. It feels like a push. You really do just have to hedge your bets. Oh, Dak-Dak from Rain here in the final throws. I wonder if you oh. carry that through. Could spam through the banana wall with this. Oh. That's uh, a very potent use oh. for that. He's ju hey. Is he juggling? Oh. Hey, yeah, he yep. is. So uh, he will have the Dak Dak over towards this B side of things, and you don't normally see this coming on through. So I'm interested to watch Rain. And I reckon he might be up. parking it for like you know the B solo if one of them rotates. Oh, look how close up towards the top of Banana RPK is already. He's taken a lot of Molotov damage just to get to this point, and it's actually drawn out of rotation. Nico's already in spawn. He's actually picking and changing weapons as well. Look at this orb oh and four. Uh, I didn't realize we were at the circus here today. As uh, Phase <laughs> <are> making <laughs> <this> very, very <laughs> interesting. <laughs> So RPK is tucked on in, actually playing behind the smoke. And on low HP, that's so risky. RPK, you have to be careful, my friend. Nade's coming through. Tuck on in. That's the right play. As Ouch. Apex oh, gets gosh. trickled on down too. This is a great looking CT setup. Phase with the mix up. Now we're talking. Now the conversation gets interesting. 5v5 still. Apex and RPK wounded. 
Dak Dak potentially going to see some action. Rain flashed in. Will he anticipate the corner? RPK punishes. And if he drops the smoke, we could see him escape. Look at the quick CT arch play. Still going to be Brokey on the other side. And last time he delivered in droves. Hi. This time the nade going to do a little bit of damage, but not too much. The flash is great, though. But Zaiwu right. quickly trades it. Kierby finds shock. So this wraps it a little less potent than they'd like. Kierby trying to buy some time here. And he's done very well. That library is coming around now. This player is there. He spots Zaiwu. Can depend on the others. Doesn't need to repeat because RPK's found him. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh so abrasively. That was a nice little uh, spray. Finds them. It's just been brutal. And now, oh, he gets even worse. Apex can clutch, though, but he's only got 8 HP. How far can you get an elevated position to try and drag the crosshairs? The spray was there, so was the trade. 10 rounds for FaZe Clan on the defensive side. Could this really be the unfathomable 2-0? We'll find out. Our second semi-final of the European side of things in the IEM New York 2020 online battle between FaZe and Vitality has continued and has brought us double digits on the first half. FaZe, not too shabby. Considering this is Vitality's map pick as well, we're still trying to find some stuff for Masuta's shells. We will get him this uh, monkey Lego once Lawrence finished it off. Close. Sure, if they finished and won a trophy, Ooh. as opposed to all these second places, maybe you could put it up there, but it's not looking likely now as FaZe, well, 
They're in consistent form. Two days on the trot of looking good. Can they convert here? They have a fantastic lead. They have a lot of utility. Gosh, Check this one out. This is like, I, I imagine actually pressure rises for FaZe Clan now when they're given a chance for the, the grand final with a, consi a considered lead. I wonder if this is going to affect them mentally, whether this will be a boon or bust. I have two Molotovs here. Uh, and it looks like it's probably going to be an A finish because they took four players through alt middle. They're silently jumping up towards the boiler room. You can see that now as they mount on their teammate's head just to make sure there's no sound cues given over towards the vitality side of things. But two Molotovs, one towards pit. Sure, I can understand Ooh, that. Where's the second? Proper little Yanko Paunovic special. Oh, there's a triple smoke coming yep. in here. So this is going to be quite deadly. And off we go. Okay. Oh. Well, Zywoo's made light work of the first challenge, but the rest now comes in towards the site. Uh -oh. The suit is there. Even sometimes the best made plans go awry. And Brokey, nothing to do. He was meant to be the final punch there, meant to be the final piece with that Molotov, and it never came to fruition. Yeah. Clean as you like for Vitality kick things off. And they're going to need to make sure they convert here. Now, we saw them have some woes over there on Mirage with converting against the Force Buys. Let's see if they're able to do a little bit different here. We actually have Nico leading the charge right now for phase. 19 kills for him. And this was how Zawu got this round started. Nice little one tap right there. Just put your head in my cross there so I don't have to move it. <laughs> Easier that way. Yeah. He's going to even find himself the final frag of the round there in... So I don't feel like we've really said Zywoo's name other than the two pistol rounds. Yeah, what was that? Eight kills now, and he yeah. had five in the first half. So quite half from him has flashed on in towards mid. Shocks will go for a little peek -aroo. Not going to be greeted with too much. And they don't have banana control either. So Vitality posturing forward on both fronts. We have RPK jump spotting towards banana. We have Apex he, over that side as well. He must be the only pro player that still uses those knives. After you don't see them often, do you? I mean, after everyone outlined that it wiggles your crosshair when you switch to your knife. Like, maybe he likes it. Maybe, but he keeps doing it. <laughs> and now, RPK is going to get a lot of info. If he jumps again, he's going to spot some. There we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Excuse me, Nico? Are you all right? Because I'm not. Going in. Yep, Apex tucked oh. in on Nubox. This shouldn't be FaZe winning another second round after losing the pistol. Kiabi didn't check new box at all. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's falling apart here, falling at the seams. Brokey recovers. Does he get the bomb plant? Oh, oh, how does he assume that corner? Silence. Cerebral gaming. Bomb loose. There's three of them there. Hold up. It's the two danger men from FaZe right here. They can still do this. 30 seconds left. They have to find a kill. And if they find one, well, more can follow. Searching with the Deagle, Nico now. And cold have to force forward. 25 seconds. They're all here. That's the big benefit. All the CTs are here. There's no having to chase around the map. So Nico getting a little closer now. They're trying to stay as a mobile pack. 15 seconds. The time begins to take. No clean shot on the first. Second, yes. That's one down, but there's two more to go. Nine seconds now. Bomb plant. There's nowhere safe. You've got to hit headies and you're not going to get them. Nicely handled in the end by Vitality, even after that shocker of a start. Yeah, RPK is going to be uh, wondering what hit him in the head right there. And Nico with a fantastic shot. We might get that view. Here we go. Over the wall, he pops. Hello. And goodbye as Nico puts him to bed. But the survival this, of Apex. This spray on the plan, by the way. Very different round if Zywoo didn't assume the oddest. Of, I don't think I've seen that plant very often at all. Why are you pulling the face? I think it's the sound cue as to why he's gone for that, when he hears the bomb getting planted in that direction. And obviously with communication with the smokes, nades, and all the footsteps, a little bit hard to identify, but this is Zaiwu. So that sound cue of the bomb probably being enough for him to hedge his bets right there and take down that bomb. Zaiwu just different, apparently. Plays the game like not many others. But now we have to see them try and keep this together. I don't want to see any, you know, mess here, no drops of a kill or two, but we know the danger men. We've outlined them. One being called Zera, of course, and the other being Nico, especially on these sort of rounds when there's a deagle in place. So you have to still give it the amount of attention it deserves. Now, Rain's going to lead the way. P250, so still a little viable, but bear in mind there's no flashes. There's no easy way to catch someone out or isolate someone, and you've got a double stack towards CT Arch. So this looks like it should be a comfortable hold if everything goes to plan. Yeah, and that's the big important part here is Shox and Zywood being in tandem. They can peek off of each other just like this and slow down on the corner. They are. Apex goes down to Nico, but it doesn't... Hold up a second. Looked like it was the end of the world. 40 seconds. They're in the pit. If Kirby, oh, oh my God, if he made that with the Glock. 
This is what we mean by danger men, right? This this sort of nonsense. I would have been nuts if you made that kill. Yeah. Would have been game changing. It isn't though. It is three alive for the CT side, keeping the guns up. So going forward, they should at least be able to kind of come into this with a decent purchase. Yeah, and good damage from FaZe in those rounds, even though they were just done. Obviously, the force buy, they could have had more done and then into that partial investment, they're able to find a couple of kills. So keeping these rounds costly here for Vitality, but need to be a little bit more than costly as that lead, which was a 10 to 5 at one point, is now a 10 to 8. The AK-47s will come back out. M4s up for Vitality. No AWP within the early stages for Zywoo just here. And they only have two kits in play. So keep your eyes on Zywoo and Masuda and where those kits fall if they do go down. And we do find ourselves in a post plant. But that is a great chunk of utility damage done towards Banana. Three players immediately being pushed on down to roughly that 70 HP mark. And more Molotovs to follow with that. So FaZe will have to wait this out. Then nades back in exchange to hardly anything. RPK taking, what, six points of damage? Nothing. Nothing to write home about. The gun, though. Oh, RPK, this wow. is a little too bold. This is a little too much. Yeah, you're taking down incredibly low. You've got to respect that now because it looks like FaZe are just chomping at the bit. Any advantage they see, any fine margin they feel they could exploit, they are straight to business. Our business resumes towards A. Suda still has his smoke, so keep that in mind for the bike position. Yeah, I mean, it was very cool to hear the extra details from Alexi B. Definitely didn't ruin his strategies by sharing that Brolin holding onto his smoke was a problem. One for one. One for two. <laughs> Looks like that continues to be even trades into the site, and so now I just sit here and say, save? Looks like it. Uh, I think uh, Vitality, they... Won't make the mistake that FaZe did on a couple of rounds there within their first half. They're going to hold on to these rifles. And this is where the costly nature of the two previous rounds comes into play because Vitality, instead of being able to have clean rounds against the pistols, have had some dirty ones. They may have to do some laundry because going forward, the loss bonus for them will only be 1,400. Now take a look. Zaiwu, he has 3,200. You guys can do the maths here. 3,250 plus 1,400 is... 4,650. Did you get it right, chat? I hope so. I hope they did. There's Blue's Clues. Or maybe Dora the Explorer is probably a little bit better for those of uh, viewers at home. What's that new one the kids are watching? I don't know. Uh, I don't watch What are we talking TV. about? Um, there's like a new Artoon? show. It's like Matt would know. I, can. Oh, I know what you mean. Uh, do you mean uh, Steven Universe? Steven I Universe. love Steven Universe. Who's though? Steven Universe? I'm going to Google Brilliant. That. It's a really nice TV I've heard show. it's like a, a very like a uh, well-developed and incredibly well-structured, like... Oh, it's a cartoon. Kids, kids show, yeah, but it's, like, with very, very adult, adult themes and lessons yeah. to learn. Okay. It's very nice if, if you need something to watch. Uh, I like his jacket. Out. I'm going to try it on. Is, is that the one with the gem, the, yes. the crystal yeah. ladies? Garnet okay. and all that lot, yeah. yeah. So it's I'll very cool. I'll have to pop that on as my new uh, marathon show. Mm. I've got The Boys to watch, and very I've got good. Steven Universe to watch. Those are my... Excellent choices. Those are on my like, list. Really, really solid. But, Entertainment, fortunately, is right in front of you if you're joining us for what could be the last 10 rounds of play. Could be a third map. Apex jiggling. Ooh. Playing a dangerous game here. Yeah, overwhelmed. Yeah, he sticks the landing. Burns a life for it almost, but he does make it work. And again, we've got another save coming in. This is going to be another for FaZe. This feels like dust too, but... It's Inferno twice now. FaZe have just found two opening kills and forced the remaining three. Like, they have hit the under-equipped site successfully twice, Chad. And, th I mean, it, 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 how much of that is going to be intuition and how much of that is going to be actual information? Like, you can't know where the three-man squad is. Yeah, that right there was uh, a big call coming in from FaZe. And I actually want to see if we can highlight it with uh, Skybox coming on through because they actually went for the banana retake utility that we've been highlighting with a lot of these teams and they knew it was coming. So as soon as it came over, they punished off of it because Vitality posture forward when that smoke and Molotov come down to get free kills. But FaZe were well and truly ready for that. So using the retake against them. Yeah, precisely. So you know how teams on Dust2, for example, will molly the long doors well, and players this, will... This, this hunt could be... Quite impactful. Oh, yeah. team flash there. Um. All right, while well, we press pause on the hunt. Sorry to interrupt you, Jack. No, no, that's all right. That's all right. He was so close. That was just a team flash right there, which yeah. uh, dissuaded Rain for going for that. So you can see they actually extinguish and get in front of the Molotovs that are coming on through, and that's where the two big kills come in from. And as simple as that, when you lose the bomb site, 
on a map like Inferno, rotation times take a little bit longer. And the T's, if they set up correctly in post-plant scenarios and they're not just kept towards the back wall of the site, retaking is so difficult. Mm. Now, the buy will come out from Vitality again because they did save these guns. Their loss burn is starting to build now as well. And at this stage, well, they lent three towards the top of B. They're being held at bay by a couple of simple phase Molotovs just through their own smoke. Kirby's tucked on through with that, and over towards A they go. So Brackets Control and Banana Control right now in Phase's remit. God, this just feels, again, like that keep it simple sort of line that we go for where they don't overcomplicate oh. it. It does quite well. They overwhelm in the end as Zywoo falls. Now, denying so much on A. Apex is going to be forced to at least honor them with his presence. Nico trying to double down. More nades, smokes, everything to try and keep the CT here. Alec Apex is already floating. Okay, Smoke does inform us that Masuta's is playing pit side. I don't think that's going to be particularly valuable information considering that's an assumption one would make regardless. They haven't even moved though, look at them. Oh. That angle rarely works out for the T's, does it? Often seeing the CT's find success there, that's a very good flash, but no one unloading their mag in panic. Oh, oh wow, what? They just saw his barrel, he's like in a... Bit of a nasty situation to find himself. 30 seconds. Apex has done a lot of work there onto Cold Zera. Brokey needs to find Masuta, he can't. And now Vitality locking down oh. the round. Kiyomi gives it a good go. Chicken running for safety. And Vitality finding themselves their first round in the last, what, three? <laughs> it was Paw Patrol I was thinking of. Yeah, their, their first round in the last three. So uh, right now, with the scoreline at 12 to 9, the loss bonus will trickle down for Vitality again. So with that round win, it, it can actually be considered as worse for them if they lose this following round. I know that sounds a little bit silly uh, to get your head around, but just look at their residual cash right now. They'll only get 1,400 on top of that. So if they lose a bomb site quickly, they'll have to save again. Whereas FaZe can afford a gun round right now, and they'll get 2,400 in the next to buy in again. See if they can find another opening, because it is looking good for FaZe. And as we mentioned, the 2-0, there's not a world that I thought I was living in where we would see this here today. I mean, considering how rabid the community is to try and perpetuate the FaZe Clan suck man monologue, really isn't working out too oh. well. Maybe in this round it is, because Kirby's got caught as well. There RPK takes the FAMAS down Banana and slays two of them. All right, they're wrestling back some control and yeah. Vitality need to keep these clean. A CT side of bank is essential. Now it is a three on five called Zira and Rain poised and ready to fight. And well, oh. Rain's not poised at all. Drops Dunk. the molly. Yeah, this is hard now. If they made that kill onto Masuda, there probably would have been a chance. But at this stage, yeah, not so likely. Cold did swing, didn't see anything. Molotov now have to make this kill, really. Okay. They've got that, but Rain and Broke are both low. It comes down to Cold Zera. Oh. And yeah, the Rain uh, utility removed and everything else gone. It's all been denied. Nice work from Vitality to hold the lines. Okay, so now the money situation for FaZe, we can start having a discussion. Nico at 3,700. Kirby has enough to buy Cold Zero as well. Rain and Brokey don't have enough to get AKs out, but they could opt for pistols or SMGs or even that Galils turns? if they'd like. So, okay, well, we can see that Kirby opted to buy. And you might be wondering, why has he done that? He's rest of his teammates, they can't do the same. Well, he can buy an AK and armor and still rock that in this round, affording to be able to buy in the next because they will get a $2,900 loss bonus going forward. And Kirby, if he could be a hero with this AK, finding one opening, that could be huge. But fast up banana they go. Lots of pressure applied, lots of damage to Nico, but they haven't been able to open the door to get a pick for Kirby just yet. This nade, just a little bit shy, Apex clears. And now we have all five members of FaZe back towards T-Stairs and the mouth of Banana. So really, they do have control in the early stages. And the B players are kept on notice. One towards Cop and one towards CT. Basic setup coming on through. And the rotation, the first man over there will be Zywoo with a full truckload of utility and a Famous in play. One smoke. And the CTs provide one of their own. Very passive line. Doesn't want to get caught by any close deagles in the smoke. Look at the lineup. What's he doing? Different take. Maybe a deeper CT smoke. Or off into the site. Trying to get rain set up. He confirms Apex oh. is playing at a long range. And now Love this. should just be a formality. No, B yeah, players died. have gone down. They find them both. This gets awkward now. Weapons have been retrieved. Armor is present. 
Kirby with that hero AK still. Are they backing away? I'm, I'm second guessing myself. There should be no way yeah, Vitality let great. this one go. But just to, to, to bend the knee, to, to accept your fate, it can't be. They have to go for it, Dunk. Come on now, you've got to push this. Oh gosh, they're going to be anticipating Kirby. He's in a bit of a nasty situation here. The spray connected, he oh, drops off. Away. That's important. Molotov on Zaiwu. He is going to force the fight. Cold's only got a Deagle. He needs one. Oh. Standing and fighting down to turn 22. Needs the Deagle bullets now. They're, go they're both going to swing. Gets the first. Needs the second. It's looking good, but not enough. Cold Zero, no kit for shocks. He does have one now. And he's got the defuse as well. Oh. 11 vitality down to the wire. Cold choosing to stand and fight. Overwhelmed. That last bullet eluding him. I thought that was the cold clutch we'd been waiting for. Faze just need one round here to break the bank of Vitality. Check it out. They have to reinvest in four rifles. Shops is going to be able to drop something across, sure. But three players will have to buy themselves. And once they do that, they're not going to have any money left. And as we get down to the wire here, Cold, very unlucky not to convert this last bullet. 30 HP is all that remains. The fuse comes on through. And now we have a game on our hands, 12 to 11. Hands in the air like he just doesn't care, but I'm sure Apex wants to get involved in this one right here. Guns come out. Here we go again. Nico towards Banana posting up that AK. It is deadly. Molotov's nades. HE's flashes everything. You love to see it. RPK takes a truckload. Apex pushing forward. They're standing oh, next no. to each other. They have no idea as Apex will clean this up. <laughs> no, it's a funny turn of events. It doesn't look like it's going to cost anyone too much as it's equally traded. RPK admittedly now defending B with just 26 points of health. That's far from ideal. If I'm Nico at this point, I know he's dead, but he can still calm. Just go to B and execute. You've taken Apex out. You know that you've probably got them in a 2-2 hold, and that's exactly what's happening as Zywu now plays in transition, doesn't know if he's needed towards A, doesn't know if he's needed towards B. If you head over towards A, you have to clear graveyard, site, pit, balcony, playing over towards the moto position, aggressive, boiler room, everything. Banana, you have it. All you have to do is get to the top and clear out sandbag. You have smokes, you have molotovs, you have flashes and rain. Well, if you go any further, my friend, you're going to lose the number advantage. Oh, but he can maybe cost them a fair amount here. Yes, Zaiwu may slip the net, but I don't think Masuta saw him. So Rain is now behind enemy lines. They've got 45 seconds, and if they just take a second to allow Rain to work, he can basically destroy Zaiwu, and he should with the opportunity. But good damage done. Now they know it's just RPK here, and he already took damage. He's already in trouble, and the B site is already there. said it takes one round, Chad. One round to break vitality. I assume that means these weapons that they're holding onto are going to be vital to preserve. And if I'm phased right now, I'd even be considering a little bit of a hunt. You know these two players normally play over towards the A side of things, normally over towards that quad side. They don't have a lot of money to work with themselves, but they will get the 3,500 coming through as the round win bonus. If they take these guns away, Vitality literally have nothing to work with. 1,400 is all the lost bonus they'll get. That's enough for Apex to buy. That's enough for Shocks to drop over something. But you take away these rifles, and they are working with absolute peanuts here as the bomb now... Roughly 10 seconds to go before we see this one detonate. They will be holding on with this. Yeah, you can't really uh, be too surprised that they aren't opting for the hunt when this is their third T round of the, um, of the map. Every single one of them has been a product of a bomb plant and a successful explosion. This was Apex playing some 4D chess. Passing through wow. Nico and yeah, Brokey just, I think he went for just a wall bang. Or did he, has he just got amazing eyes? Maybe just those young eyes that can see like a pixel. I don't know. I was 16. I still, I still couldn't see these shots. <laughs> um, but round 25, and it is at 13 to 11 if you're listening on the wireless. So checking this out here, we see the Famous coming through in the MP9. The AK dropped across. The M4 being able to be purchased on through. So the gun run for Vitality, it's on. There's no Molotovs. There's no HEs. They can't soften up the T's in that fashion. They just have to win heads up jewels. And because of that, they're playing more forward in apartments. Zywu in tandem with Masuta. It often works, dude. I swear the apps hold from CTs have seen it pay off. There's three T's coming. Three phase members on the prowl. Rain's playing a very precarious game and he loses it. Oh my God. Doesn't go better than that. Doesn't. Shocks backing away. Brokey caught as well with an aid in his hand. and He can't hit the shots. This one is flawless. Masuta low, Beautiful. sends Kirby lower, and an aggressive app setup not only nets them an AWP, an AK, they recover the round, they recover their economy, and that's going to send them to pits of squalor. Let's see this again. Oof. You really feel they should have been out of trade off of this, at least one kill from FaZe, but that wall put up in the apartment's position way too strong. The buy will come back out again for FaZe. The AKs are in, the utility is good, but Vitality just got some free upgrades. RPK still rocking that MP9 and shocks with the Famous, but the AWP is nice, the utility is better. And away they go, round 26 of play, 13 to 12. Nail-biting stuff here. Yeah, quite the semi-final, I'm almost remiss we can't share it with 
New York ourselves. Oh, oh. Saved by the flash. Not the bell. Stay away from the bell rush. I would like to do a little wall bang. One bullet to the half wall before he backs up. I wonder if Kyobi's going to get caught by that. He's going to check it. Shadow. Trade. Oh. The trade he was hoping for. Small price to pay. MP9 gone. Rain. Oh, rain. oh my God. Okay, so pulls the utility out of them. He's trying to get them all jittery. What's he up to? They're going in. What's he up to? He's just charging in. Shot. Shocks. He doesn't even know. He was looking into the anti flash. Rain finds him. No. Brokey. Now it's all looking good. Blue what on brown. A double from Apex. Weird. And a very kooky round there. There was so much time on the clock. He just held W. All right, now there's problems for FaZe. They are struggling yep. on this T side. They've only have three rounds, and those have come through like big openings and then being able to snowball onto the side. But when they're getting picked off and whittled and forced around, great stuff from Apex here. Impact frags and a half right there, making sure the bomb didn't go down. And that's important because you can see if the bomb went down, there would be enough money for everybody on FaZe to probably buy. We do see a pause coming through, assumably a technical one. And Rush, are there any problems? Uh, it's looking pretty good. Let me just read what's going on. Um, I see Mistake. Uh, wrote in chat and then sh uh, Apex saying go and I, so I think it should be well yeah here we go then all right well it will just be the uh, tactical timeout from phase here need to discuss their options okay now they have the $3,400 loss bonus coming through into the next now if I'm Yanko and I've been working on any strategies whatsoever any pocket rounds anything that I've been saving for a rainy day now would be the time Get your tech nines, get your armor, get your smokes, get your mollies, get everything that you want and give us a set piece. Give us something to sink our teeth into here. Because just limping into these rounds, not really working too well. If they want to go fast and accelerate the pace, if they try enough times, they might be able to overcome that B defense of Apex and RPK. Just need one mistake. Just need to slip the net on a Molotov, find a good timing, get ahead of the flash. And wow, that could be enough as that type of a buy is coming through. Kyobi again, he with the hero AK-47. They almost took away a round like this just before, and that was with fast banana play. So back in we go. Deagles are out. Okay. <sighs> Danger man as ever. Cold Zera, Nico, but then you add the rifle with Kyobi. Deep Molotov's going to hinder any early, quick, pacey pieces up towards the top of middle. Even a fast... Mo wow, that's a lot of utility put down very early from the CT side. Yeah, got plenty of smokes remaining though, and that Very of true. course will buy time. Worked for them once. This has got a little extra smattering of util. And off we go. Rain advancing, getting across and spotting RPK is all part of their plan. A dink as well, that's magnificent. They are burning in pool, but into the site now and finished off. So FaZe, they've done some of the hard work. I'm afraid it's not all done though. Apex trying to find a way back in. Nico has another smoke here. That's going to delay this retake. Has just deployed it now. Oh, oh. good shot. Rain wants to pick up that AK. Oh, it cost him his down. life. Oh. oh no, the seven deadly sins. We're their head. This gets awkward now. There's kits, and they're pushing as a unit. Brokey will be smoked off. He hits a crucial headshot. Oh now, gosh, hold on. Cold needs to find Zai where he does, and they do it. Phase another deagle fueled round, and it's a victory. Out of the jaws of defeat. In this uh, game of lizard, lizard, scissors, paper, rock, that's being played right now. Lizard something Spock. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I've unraveled my train of thought, but. If you're Vitality and you know that this B bomb site has been exploited in several rounds here from FaZe, you are going to bolster that. So you have two choices. You can send three or four players over towards the top of Banana within the early stages just to get that full Banana control. Or you can opt to play this similar fashion that you have been, but you need to hold on to more utility, more Molotovs, more HE. So as that execute comes on in, you can actually deny and punish. The timeout this time will be called for FaZe once more and they're talking through their options. They have a good buy. I really think that just over towards that B side of things again is probably the right maneuver. But that depends on what type of CT defense Vitality want to throw out right here. What can RPK afford in this, though? E250. <laughs> it's not bad. It's got a smoke e as well. Got a flash. I think they might send another player over towards the B side of things I'd to help so. them out or have somebody early to lean on over. But FaZe should run the same strat, right? It's the only place they've really found success. And if they're in their heads too much, they go, well, they know that. They're going to stack the site. Sure, but you can be stubborn. And I think being stubborn in Counter-Strike, especially for a team like FaZe, is probably the right answer from time to time. 
Now, standard utility being used. I were looking for a pick. He oh, might get away nasty. with one here. And look at that simple stuff. Kirby's down. Opening for Vitality. And we normally know how these rounds go on through. Phase tend to just trickle away and get melted down as the clock follows. And they're the ones right now not in a fantastic place in terms of the economy. Actually, the economy for both sides in tatters here in round 28. 14 to 13. But yeah, I, I would really love to just see FaZe go back towards B. Just go back to B and execute there. It's the only thing that's worked. Now would be the time. There's four players leading towards A, and you can see quickly enough Apex is going to come back over. Now that nade finds no one, but it does give away at least the intent from Nico and Brokey. Bomb to be left in the hands of Brokey as well. Feels like uh, a late finish from FaZe Clan. Brokey trying to sell this B fake. Whether or not it is a fake is an assumption at this point. They did find the gap before in the mid to B. But if they go for the mid to B this time, well, the problem is there's already three players leaning over towards this side of things. So as they posture forward, Nico searching, won't get anything. And yeah, just falling apart for FaZe. This is it though, look. The rain cold wrapping from Suta. They need that kill. He gets them at least the first. Down low, two on four. Cold would need shocks cleanly. He's tucked into that corner, gets the frag, and that's the round. 14-14, back to nasty situation for the CTs. Um, ex excuse me, for the Ts. Now it becomes too obvious, because what would you do if you face? What would you do now, after trying the other side and it doesn't work? Go B. Yeah, but come on. Then they're like, oh, it's too obvious they'll have to go B, but they won't go B, because it's too obvious. It's, it's just that. I know, you could think you that gotta way. just got to go B. But you could think you that gotta way. just got to go B. But what you would think if your vitality is, they will go back to B. That's what I would be thinking, 100%, because if there's only one thing that works, they're just going to go with the one thing that works. I, I don't understand why you wouldn't. They haven't won anything over towards the A side of the map, really. Yeah. Because they're probably under the assumption that you are that, oh, well, I guess they'll put Zywo oh. somewhere, or maybe they'll try the same thing they did last round. But Nico, all too aware, and now they want to speed up the pace, it looked like, for a second, but they've yeah. held off. They I mean, went, hold let's, on. Let's not fall into this trap now, FaZe Clan. You found an opening frag, and there's a T side on Inferno. You have a luxury. You know how long that rotate is. The chances of a CT side gambling and putting the majority of their numbers on one part of the map is large. If you make sure that you put all of your numbers into one point of the map as well, which it seems they are, you should have the numbers on the way in. They've got Rain as our tech niner. He's going to basically drop his smoke and then just be a moving, annoying nuisance. He will chase, he will run, he will go through the flames, he can take those risks, and he's taken the site. Now the bomb can be planted. RPK reveals his location behind the smoke. No crazy spray this time. Molly buying time. And a 4v5 after plan. plant. Yeah, Kirby's on it Come now. On, tell him. <laughs> okay, Kirby needs to keep this calm. Apex oh! is already looking. He's trying to get involved early on, see if he can catch someone in a poor post plant. But no, Nico and Kirby hold it. Brokey swings on it. Shocks denies, and now suddenly it's a 2v4. But maybe there's a little bit more fight left in the Frenchman. Or oh, maybe not. Nico takes it away. It's FaZe getting to 15. They have pushed. They have broken B once again. Vitality, last round of play here in regulation. 2,500, Masuta. 4,950 for shocks. They're not working with too much money across the board oh, here. Oh, as... bro. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That is a very important round to win right there. Timeout will be called again from mm. FaZe. And I'm loving how liberal they are with these. It's allowing them to talk through their options, make sure they get the right decisions coming on through, and they even have one left for overtime if we do get there. Zywu has been dropped across the AWP. Yeah. From Shocks. Sort Shocks of. only had 49.50. And he's actually invested for Zaiwu to go for the big green in this round. If that's not faith in your superstar, I don't know what is. Because Shocks is now operating with only a Deagle. You're right. That's it. He has completely okay. given the game to Zaiwu. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the world's best player of 2019 coming in on his rookie year to take the number one spot, Zaiwu. 23 frags and a lot of faith from one of the most iconic players of his region. He's put 4,750 of his dollars into Zaiwu's hands. He's got a lot of responsibility in this round to take it to overtime, to deny the grand finals for FaZe Clan. Three lean B, typical utility exchange. A lot riding on this round, every player aware of the circumstances and the stakes. <laughs> and now you flip it away. You've hit B, you found success there. Oh, They've now oh, accounted Masuta. for it, but Masuta, they're all looking towards the other player, and then Nico just does that to him. Yeah. 
And if Zai was up, falls this flat. Okay, a smoke. He might reveal his location. Kirby onto Apex. Still Zaiwu alive, but this is getting dangerous. That the eagle costs him his life, and Zaiwu and RPK faced with a near impossible task. Kirby's got a chance, and it's a freebie. Well, we talked about his uh, prowess. Now he's got to demonstrate it. It's only one. 16. Phase have done it.